Hello friends, welcome to the Bible Boss of Anatomy. Today we see the spleen. The spleen is a hemolymphatic organ which belongs to the reticuloendothelial system. The spleen is situated in the left upper quadrant of the abdomen, occupying the left hypochondrium region and extend into the epigastrium region. Now the spleen is a wedge shaped organ. It is wedged between the fundus of the stomach and the left dome of the diaphragm. Now it is its axis, it is directed forward downwards and the literally reaching into left mid axillary line and the axis long axis of the spleen is coincide with the long axis of a tenth rib. Now we see its dimension. The spleen is 1 inch thick, 3 inch broad, 5 inch long and 7 ounce means average 200 gram in weight and it is related to 9th, 10th and 11th rib. Okay. Direction, it is directed downward, forward, laterally. Now we see the external feature of the spleen. Spleen is having the two pole that is anterior pole or lateral end, posterior pole or medial end. It is having three border, superior border, inferior border and intermediate border and having two surface, diaphragmatic surface, visceral surface, having two angles, antero basal angle, postero basal angle and one hilum. First we talk about the two pole. Two pole are anterior or lateral and the posterior or the medial. Anterior pole is more or less like a border and anterior pole is directed forward, downward and laterally reaching into the mid axillary line. The posterior pole or a medial end is rounded and the blunt. It is directed backward, upward and the medial. So these are the two poles. Now the border. The superior border will show the characteristic nodes towards its anterior end. Now the reason behind the nodes in the superior border is that the spleen developed from the multiple lobules and the lobule will fuse to form the spleen and the, here the lobule will fail to fuse. So it will produce the node. The inferior border is rounded and the intermediate border which is lies on the medial surface of a spleen between the superior and the inferior border. Now the surface, the diaphragmatic surface is smooth and the convex and the visceral surface is irregular and the concave. The angle, antero basal angle lies between the superior border and anterior end. The antero basal angle when the spleen is enlarged it is the first most part of a spleen to be palpated. The posterior basal angle lies between the anterior end and the inferior border. This is posterior basal angle. And the last part, the hilum. The hilum of the spleen lies at a, between the superior and the intermediate border. The hilum of the spleen provides the entry of the splenic vessels and the nerves. Now we see the relation of the spleen. The first, the peritoneal relation. The peritoneum will form the some ligaments which is attached to the spleen. So these are. The first one is a gastrosplenic ligament which is attached to the hilum of the spleen to the greater curvature of the stomach. Important thing, the gastrosplenic ligament contain the short gastric vessels and associated lymphatic and the sympathetic nerves. Second ligament is a lino-renal ligament that is extend attached to the hilum of the spleen to the anterior surface of the left kidney. Now the content, important, content of the lino-renal ligaments are the splenic vessels, tail of pancreas, pancreaticosplenic group of lymph node and associated lymphatic and the sympathetic nerve. Now the third ligament 
which is not attached to the screen but it support the screen towards the anterior end is phrenico-colic ligament which is a horizontal and extend from the splenic flexor of the colon to the diaphragm phrenico-colic ligament so these are the peritoneal relation important one of a spleen now we see the visceral relation first the diaphragmatic surface is related to the diaphragm and this diaphragm separate the spleen from the left costo diaphragmatic recess <clears throat> now the visceral relation uh, second visceral relation on the medial surface it will show the three well marked impression the first one is a gastric impression that lies between the superior and the intermediate border the gastric impression is the largest and the most concave impression in the spleen it is made by the fundus of a stomach the second impression is a renal impression it is also a concave impression smaller than the gastric impression lies between the intermediate border and the inferior border and made by the left kidney the third is a colic impression it is a triangular impression which is related towards the anterior end and made by the splenic or a left colic flexion the colic impression and the last is a pancreatic impression lies between the colic impression and the hilum of the spleen which is related to the tail of a pancreas so these are the visceral relation of the spleen now we see its blood supply it is supplied by the splenic artery here you can see the stump of the splenic artery which is the largest branch one of the largest branch of a celiac tract if you see the course of the spleen, uh, spleen splenic artery it is tortuous the reason behind it is spleen will move with the respiration and the movement of the spleen is obliquely means it is for, uh, movement occur forward and the medially from the left hypochondrium to, towards the umbilicus and the right iliac fossa so the tortuosity of the splenic artery provides a uh, movement of the spleen one thing now the it is uh, drained by the splenic vein splenic vein runs behind the pancreas and meet with the join with the superior mesenteric vein and form the portal now <coughs> another important the splenic vein when enlarged it will enlarge towards the umbilicus and the right iliac fossa because it moves movement moves towards the right leg fossa now we see the anatomical position of the spleen the first thing you must keep the spleen in the left hand because the spleen lies in the left hypochondrium now the first thing the diaphragmatic surface which is convex and the smooth should lies literally means it should lies on your palm okay and this visceral irregular and the concave surface lies medially okay now among this visceral surface the gastric impression the largest and the most concave should lie superiorly between the superior and the intermediate border okay so by keeping this gastric impression superiorly it automatically the anterior end will lie anteriorly posterior and lies posterior okay and the superior border will go superiorly so this is a anatomical position of the spleen and yes one more thing you should keep the spleen obliquely because the direction of the spleen is forward downward and the laterally uh, in a such a way that it should make an angle of 45 degree with the horizon so this is the anatomical position of a spleen now the main function of the spleen is uh, phagocytosis hemopoiesis and the storage and the lysis of the rbcs now we see the important applied of a spleen first the palpation of the spleen remember the spleen is palpable when it is enlarged of its double size when the size is uh, become double of the original size okay and the spleen is enlarged toward the right iliac fossa the second thing the splenomegaly that is the enlargement of the spleen occurs in the certain diseases like the malaria uh, uh, leukemia etc third splenectomy in the certain disease we require to remove the spleen which is known as a splenectomy so during the splenectomy the care should be taken to not to damage the tail of the pancreas which is 
attached to the high lobe of the spleen. Uh, now the next is a splenic puncture. To confirm certain disease, the splenic puncture is done through the 9th or the 10th intercostal space in the mid axillary line using the lumbar puncture needle, of course on the left side. Now the next is a splenic infarction. See the splenic artery is an end artery, it is supplying the spleen. So if the obstruction of the splenic artery occur, it uh, due to some uh, reason like embolism, the part of the spleen will get infected and that will produce the pain which is referred to the left shoulder region. Now this is known as a Kehor's sign, the referred pain of a splenic infarction in the left shoulder region. So it is all about the spleen. Thank you. If you like this video, like it and share with your friends. And to get the regular update on the anatomy videos, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon.